Hello all you secret lovers out there and welcome. Um, this is basically a new channel I'm doing. Um, it's basically a, uh, a Sega channel. Um, what I'm going for is um, I'm going for a full PAL region um, mass system and Mega Drive and maybe again towards the Dreamcast as well. Um, I, wa I want to um, basically document um, what I'm doing so um, you know it gives you a rough guide you know for the guys out there who's starting out like just like me and basically f you know follow my journey um, t you know to basically get those games and um, I hopefully one day get that full set I know there's, um, there's a lot of um, especially Mega Drive a lot of hard you know rare ones to get um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll show you my pickups. Yes, I never pick up video. I know there's loads on YouTube. Um, you know, there's a lot of um, you know I go on YouTube these days, and there's a lot of more snares related, especially with all, all the Americans. You know, rightfully so. You know, that's their console of choice. But you know, to me, I love Sega, and you know, I just want to you know just document what I, I pick up basically so uh, yeah that's you know let's crack on is it um, basically a, I, I um, bought some games off um, a local site on uh, Facebook um, uh, dread Facebook um, it, it was a couple of you know one rare rarish one you know I, I, I spot my eye on as I got and nobody said anything about it I thought I've got to get this game um, I paid the first one I've not actually paid the second one yet Um, and that is Fast Zone 2. I think this is more of a uncommon game. Um, of all the shops I've seen, I've never seen a copy of this. I don't know why. Um, I have the first one as well, which I picked up as well. Um, I got this one from um, a local shop a while back. Really nice. With booklets. I always get one with booklets as well. I'm really fancy like that. Um, but this one, never see it come up that often. So, um, you know, surely there's loads on eBay, but what's the fun of that? Um, so, yeah, really nice condition. So, yeah, that's Final Fantasy 2. Uh, the first one I've actually played, it's a beautiful game. It's, you know, it's really colourful. It's um, really, you know, it, it's like a kid's, kid's game, do you know what I mean? Like, you see, like, your daughter playing a... Uh, kids games and this is very kids very colourful great fun hard you know I can't get past the first level that boss I think, I think this, is this the first that's, that's the first boss there and he's really you know he's pretty hardcore so that's fight his own um never two games I picked up off him was it never two games no it was another game Alien Storm this game I don't know why people don't talk about it it's an awesome game. It's up there for me as you know the streets of range, you know the golden axes. But not many people talk about uh, Alien Storm. It's awesome. I mean, it's like two different levels as well. Like you do your like you shoot in, and there's a level, level, where, second level I think it is. Like you're in a shopping mall and you're in first person, and you're just zapping all these aliens. It's very like Ghostbustery. It's it, it, amazing. So that's Alien Storm. Um, Alien Storm, um, it's, it's, it's a, I would say it's a common. Um, I had it, I had this one for a while, but I didn't have the booklet, so I, you know, basically bought the game, got the booklet, and now it's complete. Okay, this one, I think this one, this one I got off eBay. He was a local guy, um, really nice guy as well. He gave me a, a controller as well, uh, which is in the box, which is down here. I'll grab that a sec. Yeah, you can give me this as well. What a nice guy, you know. He came to my house, uh, dropped it off. Um, not tried this yet, but a beautiful box as well. And there's a controller. 
have a look. And we'll try this out one day. Get back in there. Yeah, so micro machines. Now I would say this is more on the rare side. Um, I, I, all the shops I've seen, I've never seen this as well. I, I wouldn't I'd call it rare. I would call it more, you know, the lower rare side of it because there's, there's some on eBay and I, I think they're, they're about you know twenty five to thirty pounds. I got just twenty five pounds, which is a good buy. Um, what, I love, what I love about Cold Master games are the usual cards. You know, every go go Cold Master. You know, it's a Cold Masters game. What you know, look at those cards. Especially the mic machines, um, you know, brilliant game as well. Mic machines, you know, very popular in, in the UK as well. Um, there's the booklet. Um, you know, graphically, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it masters and pulls it off because it's basically, you know, top down, um, simple shapes. But um, I, I love the, you know, the pool, the pool table one. I, that's one of my favourites. Um, I can't remember if my machines too with the toilet seats and you gotta go around with the drag. That is so hard to do to keep them on stage. But um, yeah, brilliant game. Um, I don't think it's got all the characters on this one. No, I think it's only four characters. Yeah, so that's my machines. Okay, Krusty, I got this from a local shop. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. Um, this is more of a uh, common, but I've only seen it once. You know, I, I go to a lot of retro shops, so you don't. Know, so I don't see this one so often. But you know, it, it's, it's not expensive. It's about 15, 15 10 pounds, if, if that. Um, yeah, there's a platformer. There's a booklet game. White label. I think Flying Edge always have the the white label. So yeah, it, it's weird. Really like all the characters, you know, there's. A, you know, they're catching all different characters like the Questy, and there's a home, probably a home one up there somewhere. So that's that. Right, this is a, I would say, a rare. Never seen this. I seen this in a shop, and he's, and the shop is, is, is quite expensive. And uh, and they had a big, you know, the big cabinets, and they're all stacked at the games, and you're gonna have to jet them when, you know, if they, like, you open, they open up the uh, case, for the unit for them. And they opened it up and had all the stacks of games there. And this was right beneath. And they had a five pound sticker on it. <laughs> five pound now. From what from that too. And this is definitely a rare. Um, I what I would say. There's a booklet. There's a bit of a crack on there. So uh, you know, I probably get the cat. You know, easily. Again, but the you know the booklets, the masses, they're always you know the ones which let you down. So that's more combat too. Not played it yet. I will play it, and uh, I come back on that one as well. Um, you know the, the crap is quite bad. I mean, actually, look how bad that is. You know, not as good as the uh, Mega Drive versions, but you know I'm so happy on this one. Is it? This was I've already seen it once as well, and. Um, um, the last one I saw, saw for, I think it was forty pounds. So I think I would say it's forty to sixty pounds um, area, but you know that's the buy of the week. Um, that is basically it for this week. Um, I will do another video. I, what, I, what I do, I do a mass system one. I do a Mega Drive one. I think that's the way forward. But um, you know, if anyone got any advice, what I'm doing in one go. Uh, if you if you any advice out there, leave them in the comments below, and uh, you know I'll crack on. Um, I got a big um, big hair coming this week, um, so I will do a video on that on its own. I probably do ones on own and play some of the games as well. So yeah, so uh, bye 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 for now. Thank you.